morning Zion and welcome to all our church family. This is your ZBC Communique Exposé, world-renowned church news. Hey, remember annual Women's Day and Men's Day and Youth Revival? We used to have those days every year. Well, this year it's all happening all at one time and in one week. It is our first annual family conference and the theme is it's time to flow. We are flowing from good to great. This amazing conference will take place on August 9th through the 13th and we are asking that each man and woman please give a gift of $100 and each youth a gift of $25. It will be an amazing week as we all celebrate together. On the first Sunday in August, Zion will worship with the First Baptist Church, Matthews County. Pastor Jonathan Walden will be our host and the members of First Baptist are excited about our arrival. All choir, ushers, officers, members and friends are asked to attend. We want to support the ministry of Zion in great numbers. This month is Fit to Worship Month. Each Sunday in the month of July, we will dress down and power up as we exercise and bring awareness to the importance of physical wellness. Get ready, come excited, and ready to work out during worship. But there is still no water in the sanctuary. Zion will worship with the Zion Light Church of Christ in Norfolk on Monday, August the 7th, at 7 p.m. for their annual revival. Pastor Johnson will deliver the message and all choir, ushers, officers, and the anti-Zion congregation are asked to serve. Please mark this date on your calendars. Pastor Johnson will be the guest speaker for the sixth pastoria anniversary of Pastor Mario Hatchett and the New Destiny Ministries Church on August 5th. The celebration will take place on the campus of Hampton University in the McGrew Towers Conference Center. If you wish to attend, tickets are only $20 to enjoy a scrumptious meal, an evening of gospel comedy and the Word of God. The ZBC Youth are sponsoring a community service project, donating canned goods and non perishable food products to the Peninsula Food Bank. Because Jim's Market has been supported in our East End community and instrumental in its revitalization, we are requesting that you purchase your food items from gyms and bring them to the church. Please place items in one of the boxes, either in the vestibule or in the hallway across from the kingdom business table. Let's keep gyms in the neighborhood while donating to those who are less fortunate than ourselves. The youth ministry is now beginning 
the collection of supplies for our back to school event. Please Zionites, let's begin this annual blessing by collecting back to school items so that we are able to be a blessing to both our young people and the community. Some of the items to be collected are crayons, number two pencils, erasers, glue sticks, index cards, binders, folders, composition books, and more. Let's be a blessing to our now generation. Zion will worship with the Kingdom Fellowship of Churches on Thursday, August 10th at 7 p.m. Mark your calendars as we continue to take the ministry of Zion beyond the walls of our church. Zion has been invited to the Tabernacle of Praise Church in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina on Friday, August 18th at 7 p.m. If you are interested in traveling with Pastor Johnson to this awesome occasion, the cost is only $70, which will include transportation and your hotel room. Want your own room? Then your cost will be only $130. Enjoy time at the beach. Do a little shopping and enjoy a night of worship and return home after an awesome getaway. If you're interested, call quickly. Only 35 available seats for this trip. is your first time in Zion, we want to take this time to welcome you to an unforgettable and certainly indescribable worship experience. We are honored by your presence and know that you will not leave here like you came. You are in for a total treat as you worship at the church where God dwells among his people. Well, it's time for worship, so let's set the atmosphere. You're already here, so let's enjoy Jesus together as we worship God in spirit and in truth. So come on, stand to your feet. Our praise and worship team is coming to lead us in worship. Yes, stand to your feet. After all, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. So get ready to clap your hands. Do your dance, leap for joy, for the Lord is worthy of all of our praise. Are you standing yet? Mm-hmm.